Recently, this morning's guest won an award named after his best friend. Meet him and learn about that friend. Coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at Keller Williams Realty, Myrtle Beach Central, home of Team Whiteman. We're focused on the inaugural Terry B. Cooper Award that was presented at the recent South Strand Republican Club's annual dinner dance and awards banquet, and we're visiting with its recipient, the Honorable Nelson B. Hardwick. Good morning. Good Nelson. morning. Is that a B? Did I get that right? It's Terry B. Cooper. Terry B. Cooper. It's Nelson uh, Hill. L, L, I need to get that right. The Honorable a, a State uh, Representative from District 106. Correct. Thank you for coming in, Nelson. And That'd congratulations be. on the award. That was a tremendous honor that Friday night, March 23rd, down there at Inland Affairs across from Drunken Jacks. That was a big night. It was. We had a great time. A very emotional night for a lot of the folks there, of course, seeing Elizabeth and Hannah and Ryan there. And um, the excitement at some level for them to see you receive that award but at the same time, uh, since Terry was the founder of the South Strand Republican Club and so much else that went into that, it was an emotional evening. It was. Very much so. It was great seeing both you and Marty there. You all also had some other, there were some other big winners of awards that night. That's right. Well, you had Paul Graham, uh, Man of the Year, and uh, right. Billy Brown, Woman of the Year. The Woman Congress. of the Year. When folks hear Billy Brown, they think, who is that? But that is uh, Congressman Brown's wife, the, the very strong uh, person behind the person making things happen that's right she's she's his marty she is his marty that's right his marty i love it that must be uh and that's not paul's bride that is your bride that's right y'all have been married is it 34 years now 37 37 it was 34 some like three years ago obviously right. yeah. 37 congratulations right. is from marty from here in the area marty grew up in mullins okay and uh, i met her there and uh, at a young age and dated her through high school, junior and high school Got married uh, freshman year in college, started raising a family. Wow, how exciting. And you all have been married since, since the, you yeah. said you met your freshman year in college? No, we married. You married your freshman, freshman year in college. That Couldn't get married housing, so she came back home and stayed with the family. Wow. For a year and, and, and worked. Uh, Nada was born in uh, January 71, and um, Ira came our senior year. Is that right? Yeah. Nada was born in January of 71. What's her birth date itself? 19th. Is that right? She's born two days before me. I did not know that. Yeah. Two days to the day. That's amazing. Of course, we saw Nada and Mike there right. at the award ceremony. And were, were Ira and... Uh, yes, Ira and his wife and right. uh, Melissa, Melissa and her husband. They were all there yes. that night. Well, I'm sorry I didn't spend time with them. That was a tremendous event. And of course, for folks that don't know uh, or know of Terry... B. Cooper. Share with folks a little bit about to Terry and what prompted the group. I know obviously this is a people show and we want to take the opportunity to highlight you, but at the same time, what prompted the South Strand Republican Club to give an inaugural uh, Terry B. Cooper Award? Well, he, Terry was just so much a part of the, uh, the club founding and, and getting us going. He, um, Terry came from a, uh, kind of an unusual background. I mean, he he grew up uh, in, in Andrews, mm -hmm. uh, so he was a part of the uh, Georgetown and Williamsburg community. Mm -hmm. uh, his family farmed. Uh, like all of us who grew up on a farm, was trying to get away. He uh, went off to college, was in the restaurant business, I think, a little while in um, Greenville, South Carolina. Met right. a lot of people up there and right. was involved in the JCs early oh, on yeah. in his life. And with that, he got involved with politics. Uh, I mean, you're trying to, with various elections within the club and statewide, uh, he met a lot of people across the state and mm -hmm. uh, eventually came back to Williamsburg to open up the first McDonald's there. Is that right, in Williamsburg County? In Williamsburg County, and, and he actually, it was it was interesting, he always told us, uh, you know, when people would come through uh, management from different parts of the country into Williamsburg County, trying to get some of the, kind of the Geechee Gullah, uh, uh, I guess, uh, accents and stuff in the area, uh, lots of times they'd be training people there with a new facility, and they would right. have a hard time understanding what people wanted. Terry always knew. I mean, he was, he was a great communicator. Oh yeah, uh, from bottom to top, and in, right. in, in the world, and and, and throughout the, uh, you yeah, know, throughout the state. And he he just uh, that uh, personality he had, right. 
uh, just always uh, understanding, uh, easy to talk to. You could mm -hmm. talk to him for hours about almost anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He really opened up a lot of tremendous doors for a lot of folks. I know Harold and Teresa Miller opened, the, uh, gave him the opportunity to come down to Open Gator and Shark. He really made those happen, 1071 and 1079, and then went over to take over Jones Intercable. Now it's Time Warner on the south end, which was a very strong, one of the top performing cable systems in the country. Yeah. Well, when I met him, he was with Jones. And, Is that uh, right? Yeah. yeah he, I was about to ask how y'all first met. And he and Elizabeth uh, I, uh, were living, uh, I think, over in Ashton Glen. On Montclair, right. Yeah, and um, Hannah was a little small baby, and Terry came to my office. I, I'd met him through the cable company, but the first time he and I had a, conversation outside of uh, our business dealings through the cable company. Uh, he uh, came in and told me he was going to run for county council. Mm. And I immediately stood up, shook his hand, said I'd be glad to support him. He said, why? You haven't heard what I'm going to do yet. I said, Terry, one thing we need is business people on our county council. It's mm -hmm. one of the biggest uh, governments, I mean, or right. biggest employer, right. biggest payroll we got in the county, and uh, we need somebody over there that can understand a financial statement and you couldn't be where you are with Jones Cable if you didn't understand how to read one and how to question the way some of our money is being spent. And I said, I'd be glad to support you, do anything I can for you. That's and tremendous. from there we just began a political friendship and right. uh, uh, and it, that grew into the formation of, uh, you get him elected of course, right? in, in a three person race. and. Um, when, when we finished, we realized that there were a lot of different people living in the Grand Strand, and Terry felt there was a need that we uh, get some kind of structure where we could communicate with people in his district about mm -hmm. what their needs were and what they wanted and what their vision was for uh, our area and its growth mm -hmm. and, and how that may uh, you know coincide with what he felt he needed to do. And so we started the South Strand Republican Club with a group of people uh, from the, I guess, Surfside uh, Merle's Inlet, uh, Garden City area, and um, and it grew into one, be one of the most effective clubs there is today. Right. I'll never forget, and I think you've begun to utilize, uh, take advantage of that to that phrase, but Terry knew how to count. Very yes. good. He always stressed that he knew how to count on county council. He didn't have to have 12 votes to get things passed. That's right. To make sure that uh, not his agenda, uh, that it was any different than the good of the people there in District 5, right. but the entire county, and that he knew just the right number of votes that had to be uh, had to be uh, received to get something moved through. Yeah, he was, uh, I think, very good at uh, realizing what he needed in his district, finding out what other council people needed in their district, and and then forming a coalition with uh, you know the number of votes needed to get passage on what he needed for his people, and mm -hmm. and he demonstrated that I think time and time again, and was very effective. Um, uh, Terry kind of reminded. Me of like a, I guess a Tom Sawyer type, mm -hmm. you know, where he could um, he'd be painting the fence, and before you knew, you'd be painting it for him. <laughs> uh, I had a guy call me one time from Conway and said, "I got a friend that would like to get on one of the commissions in Horry County, but it looks like you got to be from Surfside Beach to get there." <laughs> I said, "Well, you don't have to be from Surfside Beach, but it doesn't hurt to know Terry." And uh, uh, Terry had a certain number of appointments, I remember, and um, and he and when he filled his up. He looked around and he saw there were some other vacancies right. there, and he would go talk to the people that, of course, had the ability to appoint them. And he would find somebody in, in his district that uh, that wanted to serve. Right. And uh, he'd go to the guy and say, "Hey, uh, if you looked at Sam, he would make a great guy in that appointment you got on whatever commission it was." Right. And before you knew it, he had talked the guy into appointing his guy, helped him get the votes to get him elected, and uh -huh. and before we ended. Uh, during his career, we would have a quarterly luncheon with people he had appointed to boards and commissions. And I remember one day at Charleston Cafe, we had 30 people show up for lunch. Wow. To discuss what they thought and where they thought Horry County needed to go and how we could better serve mm. through our Horry County government, the citizens of uh, Horry County. I remember Terry sharing that one time on a trip up to a USC football game, that it wasn't that he had any special, he just, as you, as you pointed out, he just found some of those holes, and it's not like uh, he was doing anything overly special. He just uh, made sure that those those seats were filled, That's right. which was very important. Uh, he always encouraged people to get involved. Uh, he saw where they could serve, mm -hmm. and uh, when people didn't act on those positions, why well, he uh, had the ability to go in and, and just move people into places and, yeah. and um, bring people together. He, he uh, had a very... Um, 
unique way of uh, conducting himself where he, I mean, he, politically he was almost as good from weakness as he was from strength. Mm -hmm. And that he would, you know, end up putting together a plan to get what he needed and stuff. And he was a, uh, uh, first and foremost, a family guy. I mean, he, he loved his family. He, he loved kids. Um, I, I remember whenever, um, you know, everybody thought that, that Terry was about the uh, BNC deal, you know, when we had that come up. Right. When it came up, Terry voted against it. Mm. And to everybody, mm. everybody's surprised, what's going on? And t so Terry said, well, we need some help on the south end. We don't have uh, recreation facilities and different things of like that. And before it was over, uh, Burris and Chapin decided that they needed to to give a 50-acre site to Ori County. Right. And I don't know if anybody else got anything out of it, but South Strand got a government building. That's a the South Strand complex. And Roddy Dickinson was talking about that last Tuesday. Absolutely. And it's yeah. great because we have got the fastest growing area, as you know. Right. There on the south end, it's where the waterway, right. you know, because the waterway bubbles out into the Waccamaw River, and we have the largest land mass east of the intercoastal waterway down in well, my district 106 would coincide with what Terry's district was, mm -hmm. and we got a lot of people moving in there, and we're going to have a lot of people there, and and oh. the need for recreation facilities for kids, oh, yeah. we, we we need to do that, and he had the vision to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Truly, Terry's no longer with us, Nelson. That's right. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Sad time. It's just you, you don't know when you're going to be called to leave, mm -hmm. uh, and we all need to be about doing what good we can do while we're here. Absolutely. And I can say that uh, from my standpoint. He did a lot of good, yeah. and he should be remembered for just the, the great person he was, a man who loved his family, mm -hmm. was involved in his community and his church, and uh, he did what good he could do while he was here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I miss him often. Mm -hmm. He, uh, by the time, uh, you know, when, when he passed, he lived across the street from me. Right. Uh, I had become uh, the godfather of his youngest son, Ryan. Right. And, and they wanted to move from uh, the subdivision they were in, and my neighbor was leaving town, and I introduced him, and he bought the house. And so he and I got very close as neighbors. Right. And Right uh, across the street, yeah. Exactly, and, and we would have always have some function over there, political function, bringing people down to uh, see things his way. He uh, was always thinking towards the future. Mm -hmm. um, uh, our club was one of the first, I think, organizations probably in Ori County, other than maybe the chamber or some of other one that realized what NISA was, the Northeastern Strategic Alliance. Right. Uh, Terry had heard of it. Uh, we invited the, the director to come down and talk to our club. Right. And uh, and the, some the guy came and he told us what we we're doing and he, he left and everybody says so what 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 why are we interested in a, a nine ten county region of South Carolina? He said well we need to elect leaders at all levels local, state, and federal. Uh, we'd already been involved with Henry Brown's campaign, and he had been elected. Right. Uh, and he said, we've got to get people prepared to come out of our club and our county to work with other people to get Ori County a fair share. Mm -hmm. and, we, and, and how do you get there? Numbers. Right. And so what do you do about numbers? You move out of your district into other districts, and you begin to count your votes. Mm -hmm. And the PD uh, is, is a place he saw that we need to get the votes and that sort of thing. And, Nice has come a long way. Yes. But if you check back, the first first club they came to speak to in Ori County was the South Strand Republican. Wow. Mm. Which just indicates what vision Terry really had. 